guys what's up and welcome back to another video i hope you guys are doing great in today's video i'm going to be giving you a tour of my desk area and my closet in my closet i have pretty much all of my art supplies so i'm going to be basically showing you guys everything that i have i'm really happy with the way my closet turned out it kind of looks like a mini craft supply store and i absolutely love it i hope that you guys enjoy this video if you do enjoy it be sure to give it a big thumbs up and if you are new to my channel and if you could maybe click that subscribe button that would be so so awesome before we do get started with this video i want to give out a huge shout out to my notification squad Thank you guys so much for your comments and if you aren't part of the notification squad already all you have to do is turn your post notifications and leave me a comment down below with the hashtag notification squad and I might feature you in my next video. By the way, if you want to see how my complete room looks like, you can check out my previous video. I did a full room tour. The video will be linked down below if you haven't seen it already. And yeah, with that all being said, let's get into today's desk and closet tour. Alrighty, this is my desk area where I edit all of my videos. And if I'm not filming a video, then I also do most of my crafting here. So I'm going to quickly show you guys what I have on my desk. This lamp is from Amazon. The planter is from CB2. I also have some decor here like a candle and a plush. I made these mason jars myself. I have a video on this on my channel as well. Um, in the purple one, I keep my polymer clay tools. In the pink one, we have highlighters. And then in the blue one, I just have like pencils, pens, and that sort of thing. This wall grid is from Urban Outfitters. And I did turn some of my polymer clay charms into magnets. So I just like popped those on and I think they look really cute. In this little wooden crate, I have some washi tape and then I have this like really cute unicorn mug. I got this like years ago for my birthday. I think I haven't mentioned this yet, but the desk and chair is from Ikea and the little pillow that you see is from PB Teen. In the first drawer, I keep my bullet journal. I also have this other notebook in which I write video ideas. Um, I have like sticky notes, um, this like really cute, a uh, little like, what do you call it? Pencil case. Um, I've had this for years and it's so cute. And then I also have my colored pencils in here. In the second drawer, I have a bunch of different things. Jewelry findings, uh, cookie cutters, molds, rolling pin, paint brushes, pretty much anything that I would need to make polymer clay charms. This wooden organizer thing I got from Ikea and I keep this underneath my desk. On top of it, I do have this like box in which I keep all of my like store-bought charms. In the organizer itself, I keep my DIYs and in the first one, I have my polymer clay charms. If you wanna see a full-blown collection, you can check out the video, it will be linked below. In the second drawer, I keep all of the miniature things that I've made. So I have like um, school bags, notebooks, pencils, anything that I've made in miniature version is in this drawer. In the next drawer, I keep all of the trinket dishes that I've made using clay. In this drawer, I keep all of my DIY lip balms. I do think that I'm missing a few because I've used some as like decor around my room. In the last two drawers, I keep all of the phone cases that I've made. As you can see, there are quite a few. Um, I've done a lot of videos on DIY phone cases and you can find those on my channel. Right next to my desk, I have this nine drawer Alex, which is from Ikea. And in here, I keep my craft supplies. On top of it, I just keep like some decor. So we have fake flowers, Funko Pops, and there are like two of my lip balms there as well. I'm going to show you what's inside the Alex and I'm gonna try to make this as fast as possible because there is a lot to show. In the first drawer, I have all of my polymer clay, or I should say most of my polymer clay. In the second drawer, again, we have more clay. 
Um, I got this like stone powder clay and oil clay. And then at the back we have um, air dry clay and eraser making clay. I have more eraser making clay and then I also found this like rice dough. I have no idea what this is but the packaging looked nice so I bought it. In this drawer I keep supplies to make plushes. So we have yarn in a bunch of different colors, then we have like these um, plush eyes or nose, whatever you want to call it, velcro tape. Um, I also have like this two-way sequin fabric that I found. Um, I also have stuffing for the plushes and at the back I keep zippers as well as thread in multiple different colors. This is the fourth drawer in which I keep all of my fabric paint to make plushes and to make squishies. I like to call this my embellishment drawer because there's a bunch of different things in here. Um, I have like fruit slices, these like star beads, pearl beads. Um, I have glitter that's like shaped in like hearts and stars. Um, and then I also have some like pots of Perlex powder. And then at the back, I keep my chalk pastels. In here, I also keep my metallic powders. And this you can use in a bunch of different things like soap, slime, and also in makeup. So yeah, I have these like in a bunch of different colors and they last very long. This is the drawer in which I keep all of my glitter. So we have chunky glitter, fine glitter, pretty much any kind of glitter. And then here on the side, I have some colorful fishbowl beads. I didn't really know where to keep them, so I just have them in here. As you can see in this drawer, I keep all of my colorful foam beads that I use for slime. This is the second last drawer in which I keep a bunch of different supplies. First off, I have my slime scents in here. I have beeswax in here to make lip balms. And then I also have candle making supplies. So candle wax, molds. Um, I also have crayons in here to give the candles color. And then candle wicks. And at the back, I keep all of my clear and white phone cases. So if I ever want to film like a DIY phone case video, then here are the phone cases. The very last drawer is super boring because in here I just keep like filming equipment. That is pretty much it for my desk area. Now I'm going to show you guys my closet in which I keep more craft supplies. Here is an overview of what it looks like. I will say that it does look way, way better in real life than it does on camera. Even though my closet is decently sized, I was having a hard time like doing um, this overview for you guys. And also the lighting is very yellow because I haven't changed the bulb. I've been in this house for the last three years. I don't know why I haven't done that yet. And to be honest, I don't really think I'm ever going to change the bulb. Starting with the right side of the closet, on the top rack, I have these clear storage bins. And in here, I have a bunch of supplies. I'm going to try to show you guys this as quickly as possible. In the first one, I keep containers. So like slime containers, mason jars, any kind of container is in here. Next, in this one, I keep plastic bowls and I also have like random jars in here um, in case like I want to make some kind of DIY. In here, I have baking supplies. So we have like piping bags, cookie cutters, and like I also have like um, sprinkles in here. Um, anything that I would pretty much need for baking. In this bin, I keep my slime add-ins. So we have plastic snow, um, extra like foam beads, and then these like heart-shaped foam. This is foam that I use to make jelly cube slime. And then I also have a couple of sponges in here that are really cute and that I will probably use in slime someday. This is my five below container. So all of the supplies that I've bought from there are in here. Um, I like to kind of categorize things because if I'm filming like a five below video, I don't want to go around and search for things. 
in here I just have everything that I have so it's like easier for me if that makes any sense. This is makeup that I can use in slime. So I keep like super old makeup in here and then I also keep uh, $1 makeup. So these I got from Dollar Tree and then these ones that you see are from I think Shop Miss A. I think that's the store name, um, but everything that you see is basically for a dollar. In the last two containers, I have all of my supplies from Dollar Tree. Again, if I'm filming a video, like a Dollar Tree video, I have all of my supplies in here. It just makes everything so much easier. So yeah, in this container, I just have like glitter, pearl beads, um, sponges, that sort of thing. And then in the next bin, I have all of my paints and glues. If you come at the bottom, you will see my six drawer Alex. So on top of the Alex, I just keep more supplies. We have craft foam, model magic, fishbowl beads, instant snow, sand and there's also rubbing alcohol that i use for polymer clay i'm gonna really quickly show you guys what i keep inside in the first drawer i have tools so i have like hot glue gun hole puncher um magnifying glass tape a bunch of different tools basically in the second drawer i keep extra supplies so um at the back here i have resin then I also keep my extra polymer clay in here and then a bunch of random embellishments, pearl beads, seashells, glitter, just like a bunch of extra things. This is my miniature drawer that I love so, so much. I keep everything that I need for miniature cooking in here. We have pots and pans, plates, cups, utensils. Any kind of small little mini container or jar is in here. So if I'm filming like a miniature slime video or if I'm doing like miniature cooking, I need like small little containers and I keep them in here. And also I have little uh, containers so that I can make um, lip balm or like lip glosses. This is my school supply drawer. So if I'm filming a DIY school supply video, I basically have everything that I need in here. Sharpeners, pencils, pens, uh, plain notebooks, anything that you can think of. In this last one here, I just keep a bunch of random things that I don't know where else to keep. We have like Play-Doh in there, washi tape, film for my Polaroid. Yeah, just like a bunch of random things. Right next to the Alex, I keep all of my squishies. I'm not gonna show you guys like each squishy in this video, otherwise it's gonna get very long. But if you wanna see a squishy collection video, let me know in a comment. This is the top left rack, and I'm gonna quickly show you guys what I have in the Claire bins. So in the first one, I keep pom-poms, canvases, and balloons. In this one, I keep fabric and felt. That was very self-explanatory. I really need to clean this because there are like random little pieces of fabric that I need to throw out. In this last one, I keep all of my wood stuff, fake plants and planters. Now for the two boxes, in the small one, I keep all of my yarn and ribbon. And then in the big box, I keep all of my extra acrylic paint and spray paint cans. On the left side of the rack, I keep all of my kits that I bought from Five Below. So you can see here, I have like different slime kits in here, squishy kits, and like um, lip balm and we have like a candle making kit below the rack i have this five drawer alex 
On the top, I keep some of my Daiso clay and glue. This isn't all of the glue and Daiso clay that I have. The bulk of it I keep in my spare room, but here I just have like a few of each, if that makes any sense. I'm gonna show you guys what's inside. So in here I have colorful paper that I use uh, for filming videos. In here, I keep all of my cardstock that I will use uh, for DIYs. I also have like this random mold in here. I don't know where else to put it. In this drawer, I keep all of my slime making supplies. So I have my spatula, measuring cups, uh, bowls, and food coloring in here. In the second last drawer, I keep all of my cute stationery. I have like a little bit of an obsession with collecting like nice cute notebooks and stickers. Last but not the least is this drawer in which I keep my DIY uh, school supplies. So we have like sharpeners in here, notebooks, uh, pens that I've made, bookmarks. This is what I keep next to the Alex. So I have these like random boxes I don't know where else to put. This is memory foam that I use to make squishies with. And then in this pink box, I actually have like wooden crates and like more uh, canvases and just like extra supplies. And then at the bottom, I have two gallons of glue. I have white paper here on the side that I use for filming. In this little trash can, I keep a uh, gift wrapping paper that I use for filming actually, uh, for colored backgrounds. And I also have extra felt in here. And that is pretty much it for my closet. Um, this you guys may have already seen in my previous video, but in case you haven't seen it, I wanna quickly show it to you guys. So I have this black cart in which I keep a bunch of different supplies. In the first compartment, I keep my markers, paintbrushes, uh, varnishes. Um, we have like paint palettes. And then in the second compartment, I keep all of my acrylic paint. In the third compartment here, I have my slime making supplies. So like hair gel, baby powder, body lotion, hair gel, anything that I would need to make slime. And that is it for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys so much and I will see you in my next one.